This is the dog pack video that you absolutely need to watch because as of now, dog pack came up with an important update, basically confirming that everything he researched in the past couple of days has been completely false or misinterpreted. In a new tweet, he posted an update saying, I have received the original source of the Ivanka photo. It's from an April 2000 British GQ magazine photo shoot. Surprisingly, it is actually her and she was 18 at the time. Something important that needs to be said here before we continue reading on is the fact that even if she was 18, even if he confirmed that this image was in fact not CSAM, what he did is that he spread another false allegation against Ava Chris Tyson and Mr. Beast Co. In that Rosanna Pansino video, he implicated Chris Tyson and Mr. Beast Co. of facilitating the distribution of CP, which is incredibly slanderous and shows his lack of research. While I am relieved that Dogpack actually managed to retract his original position, while I am relieved that he didn't actually possess CP, while I am relieved that he issued an update, the damage has already been done. He already made these implications, he already made these false accusations, and now nobody is going to take him seriously. This is incredibly damaging to this expose, to this investigation that he launched against Mr. Beast, because this is technically the second time he ran with an allegation that was not confirmed, not researched accurately, and shows a blatant disregard for integrity, or vetting information, or making sure that anything he's saying is substantial. And this is even worse when you consider the fact that there were actually employees trusting him. There were actually employees telling him stories, telling him these allegations, telling them things that are potentially going wrong at Mr. Beast, but now that he screwed up this badly, who's going to believe him whenever he brings anything else to the table? This means that if there were any actual victims working for Mr. Beast that have been exploited, abused, or worse, Dogpack's bridge to that has been completely tainted, as no one will ever take his report seriously anymore. Those victim stories and claims have been indirectly tainted because of this giant Dogpack mess-up. In this tweet, he continues trying to cope and says, I'm sure now people will flip and say I should have reversed image search the photo more before going to the authorities with the media. Well, what you should have done is actually not facilitate these allegations if you weren't 100% sure, because you should have stopped at the assumption that it could have been CSAM and maybe have made a report to the police. And maybe they could have helped you confirm any additional information before publishing this video. And then he says, also, Roe first visited the FBI before filming the YouTube video. Another lie that's being spread. Look, people are just guessing. They're not lying about that. And then he says, everything was handled in accordance with the law. That's legitimately not true. I made an entire video proving how you lied about everything that you've been saying. And then he says, and again, Ro and I have never reported Ava's allegation of 13 as fact. I show what Ava alleged. I show the law. I said that if it actually was a 13-year-old, it would constitute a CP in my opinion. Other people ran CP as fact, not us. No, you definitely did make that implication, which means that you're the direct source for these allegations. You're the direct source that everybody took at face value to understand what you're claiming. This is still your fault. If people People understood it that way, that's still your fault. This fuck up is so egregiously bad and monumental that even a legitimate journalist called him out. Steven Asark says, You need to take your time properly researching these claims before publishing them. These are mistakes you can't make as a journalist, and you've done it multiple times now. Dogpack has legitimately lost the plot. He's so lost that he made an update tweet trying to deflect from any accountability, from any criticism. Here's what he said If you ever wonder why the same few names always defend Mr. Beast, the Tea Party group chat is effectively Mr. Mr. Beast's media wing. Okay, listen, those people are completely unrelated to Mr. Beast, and everybody involved in that group chat have all effectively, harshly criticized Mr. Beast just as harshly as they criticized you, if not worse. So now you're just being completely dishonest in any attempt to try to detract from the people that are rightfully criticizing you for your wrongdoings. So just to wrap up this very quick update video, I just wanted to clarify the fact that Dogpack did not actually possess CP. It was simply believed that he did because he himself addressed dressed and identified that image as CP and admitted to owning that image. Unfortunately, Dogpack is no longer a credible source of information after screwing up a story this bad. And my condolences go out to all of the employees that trusted Dogpack with their stories and allegations, only for their stories to be completely tainted by an absolute low IQ moron that is genuinely a scummy, incompetent loser.